Hi, I'm Holly and I'm the exhibitions director here at the Dairy Barn Arts Center and I'm excited to tell you more about Scribble and Play Art for Kids. That's our next exhibition opening this spring at the Dairy Barn Arts Center. And I am Owen. I am an interactive artist. I'm part of the committee and I'm here for this convo, just making it happen. <laughs> Thanks, Owen. So I wanted to tell people more about what we're looking for for Scribble. This is a call for entry. We're looking for immersive artwork that kids can interact with, um, um, environments or, you know, hangs, things hanging from the ceilings, things children can walk into or play on top of. We're also looking for um, any artwork that children can relate to or enjoy viewing. That could be illustrations. Um, paintings of fun, bright characters or animals. Uh, Owen, what are you hoping to see at the show? I mean, things that spark, I would say imagination, but really for me, it's the idea is curiosity. Things that make a kid curious, things that will engage them in actually starting to talk about what they see um, and what they wonder. Um, things that make kids ask questions. So it just art that a kid might just be drawn to and want to explore, whether that's actually physical and um, physical activities in which they'll do or something that is interactive that reacts to their motion to their to what they do or even something that is not um, is not supposed to be handled something on the wall something um, a way that gives them an opportunity to explore with their eyes and talk to each other. Yeah, absolutely. I think one of the cool things about making art for youth and kids. Um, and that's something that I do as an artist. It's children. I do a lot of work at the Children's Museum of Pittsburgh. Um, but I think what's cool is that it gives you this opportunity to treat the actual artwork, the final and the finished artwork as um, an experiment, as a prototype. So if you have an idea that you want to actually try and test out, um, kids are one of the best ways to do it. And you don't have to think like, this is for kids. This is only meant for kids. Adults need to just look away adults no no like the idea of um art for children is not necessarily art that is only or exclusively for children it is art that allows children to engage with artistic experiment or that allows kids to engage with artistic experiences so art that um an adult and a child could talk about that maybe it isn't like the adult might have some perspective based on their life based on the things that they've done in their life but a child will have a very different perspective. And in that way, both the adult and the child are like, they're right. Their, their perspectives aren't wrong and it opens a door to conversation between them. Um, art meant for youth is just such a great way to start to open avenues for conversation about social issues. People are afraid of social issues with children, but that's not something you need to be afraid with. You can open an idea up and you can just let there be that that path for discussion and for just communication there's there's a it's a good time when you're a kid to start because guess what kids will ask the questions in all the artwork i've ever done in my life grown-ups will maybe ask a question about how is this made what were you thinking a kid will look at an art piece and be like why does that look like a hand in a skull a hand in a skull and and then you might not have made a hand in a skull but they see it, but that's they ask whatever, and it's just an opportunity to see how a different group of people, I don't wanna say audience, but just how a different group engages with an artwork. And it allows you to, to like grow from there. So Absolutely. if you, yeah, if you make work that isn't specifically for children, but you think it will be engageable or that it can be engaged with, like take a risk, try it out, see what happens. I think there's just opportunity for people to like, as opposed to sticking into the visual arts, like sound art is a thing, experimentation mm. with sound. If there is um, interaction that creates audio or things like that, um, those kinds of things are really good. Um, action and reaction or something being different than what's expected allows exploration from youth and it allows them to just engage with art and engage with curiosity. So yeah, I think curiosity is, also, is the name of the game. Yeah, I think this is also a good opportunity for artists who have been looking for a collaborative um, opportunity 
that they maybe want the public or multiple people to um, engage with their art, make a mark on their art. This is an opportunity for that. If you wanted to have some sort of canvas for children to make a line on or to um, to, to, to add a material to, um, this is the opportunity for it. You can you can make that happen. We can we can help you in that. We have the entire prospectus listed on our website at dairybarn.org scribble. You can find more information there. Thanks, Owen. Thank you. Bye.